down at Linden Marina with our boat, Swipe Right. And today we will be stepping the mast, raising the mast, whatever you want to call it, as well as getting the mainsail and the Genoa um, put back up in place. This is a 1976 25 foot O'Day. This method um, should be pretty good so that um, possibly one, but uh, better with two people can do this job and raise the mast on an O'Day 25. And it's an absolutely gorgeous day, as you can see here in Utah at the Linden Marina. We are ready to get our boat in the water and sail. All right, so this is how we have stored um, our mast through the winter. There's the bottom of the mast. There's our rolling furler for the Genoa. You can see just kind of how we tied it up here. This is how she sits through the winter. Giving you an overall view all the way up to the front where it's just tied up again and this is where we're gonna step the mast right here these two large pins going through and your two cords for your lights on the mast and that's not good and that's not good <laughs> we're replacing these guys today <laughs> Now we're going to put them open. We got these LED lights. They're super amazing. They last forever. These are VA9S lights for these guys. Your little LED light. So look down, there's, there's two little dots on the bottom. Oh, we got a Those little grooves. You guys help and finish my lighting project that I started and I help and finish. <laughs> Open that we can go out feeling it right down. Okay, so this here is called a delta plate. This is on your cap shroud. That's gonna make it a lot easier to lower and raise your mast if you have it. If you don't have it, not a big deal, but it's easier if you do. So the delta plate you'll find on both sides, and it needs to be at the same height as the bottom of the mast right there. All right, as you can see here, we do not have the delta plate. So we're going to talk to you about this little rigging situation that we set up to overcome that and to still step the mast without the delta plate. So this cable here, topping lift, which attaches to the boom. So it's the one there in the top left. This little cable. And this one here is the back stay. So this attaches to the chain plate on the very back of the boat, supporting the mast in the back. So here's the bottom of the back stay right here. And that's going to just clip in right there. It's going to clip in right there on the very back of the boat. These two cables are the cap shrouds. So they support it on the port and starboard side. So the mast doesn't rock side to side. Uh, here's the cap shroud running through the sides of the spreaders on both sides. It's your cap shroud right here below the spreaders. So there's top of the mast right here coming down to the spreaders just below it. These are your lower shrouds or your inner shrouds. So that's where they connect. This line here is to halyard and the rope, the line, goes through the top of the mast, comes out the other side. So the jib halyard actually has the rope tied into this cable. But we don't have a jib. We have our rolling furler Genoa. So it's just a line we can use for other purposes. Okay, and the line that goes through that little pulley right there, this is our spinnaker halyard. And we plan to use that this summer. This here, this is for our Genoa. That's where it connects up top. This here is for the radio. And then our main halyard is this cable. So it runs through the top of the mast and it uh, has a line that attaches to it. So rope to cable, line to cable, which we don't like. We wanna switch that out. So we just have a line all the way for our main. So your first step really is just starting to get everything untied and untangled, ready to get everything moving without tangles. Since the roller furling can't be connected, or it'd be all bent weird, 
we are gonna use the spinnaker halyard as a temporary force stay so that as we bring it up, that's what stops the bass from coming back any farther. So we're gonna take the spinnaker halyard, measure it out to the length of the roller curler, tie a loop in it, and hook it to where the force stay will eventually hook to. The spinnaker halyard for the length of the furler. To the very bottom of it? Yep. So now this becomes our temporary force stay. Yeah. Which is where the jib would attach. Get your furler attaches here. So that's pretty close. That'll keep it from tipping over. So this is attached up there. So this will just keep it from going too far back. So once all your lines are detangled and organized and ready, we got to create the force stay, which we used our spinnaker halyard to do that. Your mast step, since we're about ready to move the mast forward. We want to get this ready, so we're going to take this pin out. We can actually take them both out. The way O'Day put their stuff together is you've got a hinged system, and it's different from most boats because we actually tip the mast forward instead of back. And in, in doing so, we get to use the boom as part of the tabernacle that we're creating. So it's a really cool system. There's the back pin. There's the forward pin. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the whole mass, we're going to move it forward, and the furler system, we're going to move it all the way forward until the base of the mast, which has a plate that corresponds with this, lines up and we can put that in. And once it does that, the, the mast is going to want to tip forward, so be ready for that. You're going to have to put some weight on the back, obviously, otherwise you're going to lose it down to the street. As we, we're going to lift it forward, and then the back person is going to have to start pushing down here as we lift the rest of it. Okay, ready? Here we go, mm -hmm. sliding forward. I think we're about there. I think we're getting lined up. Okay, and this is one thing you wanna really make sure. See how this is turned off to the side? We gotta make sure that that's in this position. Let's see how that one. So they're pointing towards the mast. So everything should be loose like that. Okay. Otherwise we'll bend those and same thing here. Make sure it's all loose. Out of the way. Yeah, that should go in. Hi. Here we go. Bam. We need to put the boom on and get the tabernacle set up. Okay, so you want to get the rolling furler out of the way so when you're making this tabernacle, it won't fall off and we're getting away at all. This is a little kit that I've put together that if you don't have the delta plates on the cap trout, you can just add a line that, that creates the, the down from the chain plate up to where that delta plate would be. That's what this is. And then we will hook the lines to the tabernacle to this and around the cap shroud, and that will sort of imitate that system that O'Day built into the boats. And you want the height of that line right there to, to be where the delta plate would be so it's even with the mass step? The mass step, yep, exactly. It'll go through it nice and easy. So you're gonna go to your baby shroud or your inner shroud. It hooks through that one. And then we're gonna just hook through here like On this. On the big shroud? Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. It's going from the same place, essentially. So you just want to basically have this being holding down, and then we're going to hook the tabernacle to this and go up to the boom, and, and we'll show you that as well. It just needs to be from, from here up to this level. Just the length from here just needs to be the same as across to here. So that top loop that he's holding is where your delta plate would be if right. you have a delta plate. Yeah, there would be a delta plate on here originally from the O'Day factory, but at some point this boat got new rigging. They probably didn't even know what that was. They were just like, let's get rid of that. So, um, they did. So ideally we want this on the cap shroud, not the lower shroud? Well, it needs to be held down. It doesn't, okay. if, if your boat happens to have rails with the loops in them, mm -hmm. you know, with like the you slots, can use that you can just hook to there too. Uh, it's not, it's not really that important. 
this is just to keep, help keep the mast from swaying side to side as you're lifting it. The boom being on here creates leverage for lifting. So you can do it all by yourself. One person can do it. So if you're by yourself, you're basically just pulling on that boom. With the main sheet. So you just use your main sheet. Okay. Um, you do need about a three foot extension from the boom to your main sheet. Unless you have you know, an extra nine feet of main sheet. But yeah. Okay, so the next thing is going to be to get the boom on the mast. We're going to connect both the main halyard and the topping lift to the back of the boom. So we're, we've got some safety built into the lifting system. This puts on to here. Now, how do we know how long this is going to be? Well, we don't exactly yet. What we're going to do is hook these both on there. We're also going to hook a line from the boom down to these to connect to create the tabernacle and it will be adjustable down here so that we can create that triangular tabernacle but for now basically you have a system in place for your topping lift right? okay so this line is our topping lift yeah. okay. connects to the back of the boom topping lift to the back of the boom Now by your t topping lift, do you mean that one that changes the inner part of the boom to Tilts like... the boom level when your sail's up. You're going to want to make it so that when you have your sail, your main sail all the way up, and your main sheet pulled all the way down, this should have just a little bit of slack in it. And then when you drop your mast, this will tighten up, but it will hold your boom when you just fall over the top. Okay. okay. So for now, let's just... Uh, just need this attached in the old way, really. It is type thing, just so that it's not going to move on you. That's good, like that. Then we're going to take the main halyard. We're also going to connect it. I know we're kind of only going to a single point here, so if that fails, the whole mask goes down, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. So now we've got two lines that are essentially, if one fails, hopefully good. We got our topping lift and we have our main halyard. Those are the ones connecting right here. And then this other pulley, this is the one for the, the main. The main sheet outhaul. Yeah, the main sheet outhaul. Or the main sail outhaul. Yeah. Okay. Next thing we need is a line that is fairly long. We're going to hook it here and have it go down to those points. So we're going to create these things. Okay. And it can just be done with a rope. This is just adjustable. So I've got a way to adjust this length on here. This is going to connect onto the boom. And then we have adjustment here that we can make. What does this connect to? That's going to connect to those parts on the cap shroud where they would go to the delta plates. Okay. So this, then. you're going to hook on the bottom of the boom. And this one also. Where the main halyard was, same spot. Uh, well, we can do it. You don't have to have it uh, all the way in the back there. Let's hook right there on this through the line. Through the line is fine. Now the reason we're hooking this side up and making the adjustment below uh, will be apparent pretty soon because once this is standing upright, you can't reach up there to make the adjustment, but you can reach down here. So. Ah, gotcha. Now, once you set this whole system up for your boat. This is adjustable now. It doesn't have to be adjustable once you're set up for your own boat. Then you just hook all these things up. You can even make some marks on stuff to make it so it all goes together the way you want. Now I will tell you, this is a much easier system to rig and mark and set when the, when the rig is up. Hmm. Right? Because then you can hook it up, get it all tight, tension just how you want it, tie knots, make marks, put tape on whatever you want, and then now you know. Like even on your halyard and your topping the adjustments that you're going to be making, you'd have a piece of tape around where you would tie those off. And then you just hook it all up, put it in place, and away you go. Super simple. So we're going to actually turn this over like that. I'm just going to hook it to here. Just so that we're hooked to something. That's good enough. Now, we can go ahead. We've got that in place. Uh, one thing we did forget. Main sheet. You need an extension. So I have that. So this is just about a three and a half, four foot extension. Because your main 
sheet isn't quite long enough to do this full operation. So and you want this to be pretty healthy because this is lifting the whole thing. So you don't want this to be a small. One. But these other ones can be small. Okay. Okay. Now let's grab your main sheet. The main sheet. This is where this comes in. This is important. If we just tried lifting, this would just flop all over the place. So this is how we create. So it actually just keeps our boom centered, right? Yep. You'll notice if I put this on here, and I really should have a different kind of clip for this system, because both of them need to go through there. Like that needs to hold on both ways, actually. So I'm holding the boom while he's making the right adjustments on these lines. But you can see where they're coming off and tying down in to each side, port and starboard. So that, that way I can let go of the boom and it'll be centered. Uh, it should be a full clip. Then you have when I have it hooked. the extension running down to the main sheet. This. Now everything should be stable. Pretty tight. Ready for you to just pull on the main sheet and lift this up. I was wondering. <laughs> I will film as you do that, babe, so I don't have the responsibility of this thing crashes. Angel needs my muscles. Here we go. So here's the setup. We're pretty much ready to start lifting the main sheet, which is going to raise the mast. You can see the cap shrouds are all set up. We got the two lines all the way here to this boom. We have extra kits that he showed on each side. That goes down to the base of the cap and lower shrouds. Right there, that's keeping the boom centered. We have the yellow extension line, which you'll need to get to your main sheet because that's not long enough to make it all the way to the boom. And we're gonna pull on the main sheet to start raising everything up. And then we'll need to be ready to get the uh, back pin into the mask plate there. So what we're gonna do, just, just to make sure everything's working the way it should, we're just gonna give a little bit of pull and see if we can get the mask to start coming up and make sure it's not going side to side. Whoa. This can be done all by yourself. You can just start lifting this. However, it's nice to have other people helping. So you can have one person helping with the mass and you're just pulling on this. It's more of a safety thing. If that guy falls down, just you're locked in, it's not going anywhere. Right? So we got another visitor here helping with the uh, setup. He's already lifting. <laughs> That muscle's going. Sweet. Turns out to be on the water. Now, right there, while we've got this in position. Gotta get the I'm other pin. Into the main sheet. Yep. Hook this up. Disconnect. You got this? Yeah, disconnect the extension and then hook your main sheet up where it goes. Looks weird with all the lines jumbled. Yep. Connect that extension, put that in. If you do it the other way, but then it's got a twist in it. That'll... Okay, then put a little tension on that, just a little bit. Yep, that's good. Keep the back stay right here. Get it connected. We can get that connected. Before you tighten anything on the force there, back stay, get everything, you want to get that back pin in. Yeah, so we're going to put the back pin in right now. And we also put in the boom thing, right? So that's clipped in now to the boom. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record baby. Do you remember how this pin works? It's kind no. of weird. I think you did All it right. for me last time. <laughs> All right, so the pin, you lift these out. And then the pins, this whole thing slides down, all right? And then the pin will come out. 
Yeah. Right there? Yeah, it's right there. There you go. Okay, that that end goes Now we should push, right? Center. Yeah, okay. Let's get it right. Oh, Woo! teamwork. <laughs> Good fun. This, this line's coming off the roller furler and going through here. Let's go check out where Angel has it now. There we go. So we had one block up front, one there, one here. So we got a block on each stanchion here. I remember this bit. And this being our final block. There we go. And then our line just rests on this cleat. So we're ready to use it. Yep, yep. And Angel is teaching us how to put a stopper knot in the end of our line. Now that we got the uh, Genoa line or Genoa halyard all run together through the blocks, uh, Angel is starting to get the Genoa in place. Ah, oh, that's swiped right out there. Hey. Swiped right, you're almost out in the water again. Right. This product is brought to you by Dewalt. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that thing? Okay. It goes in that hole. This? The front of your sail. So grab that part oh, of your sail. Oh, 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 oh. Put it in right there. Okay. Now start pulling. Man, look at our beautiful sail. Okay, stop right there. Okay. And then we need to hook your sheets on. We're tying the last lines onto our Genoa. We've got two lines, one coming off each side. So maybe you have a longer line, just one line. Find the center and put that there. That'd be great, but I think we have two. It is long. So we're tying a bow in right now. So we got the first line tied through with the bow line. Now the second line is going through, being tied with the bow line. All right, the Genoa is all furled, and the lines come through the mid block. We have one more block back here, that's for the spinnaker. It comes through the mid block. It's got its sheet cleat. The lines are ready to go on both sides. Now we're doing the main sail. So one flue slid in, and we're sliding in the little piping piece. Okay, bottom clue went through the track. Lighting it back. So you can see what he's got right there. He's feeding the tight game. Alright, good. Boom. Get the boom. Okay, so this is just to Open the mast gate. So we're gonna open it so we can start putting the mainsail up. We want to put the battens in just as it goes. So we're just gonna find the very top of the sail. Just gonna do the main halyard. Just gonna put the slugs inside the gate one by one all the way. And put in our battens as we go. So top batten. Okay, the top batten's in. Now we're going on to the next slug. And another batten's gonna go right here. Okay, bottom, lower, mid. We have four battens on our main sail. We found our nifty little tool to push the battens in. 
that number three, each of the telltales are by each of bats. We didn't have telltales on our main last year, did we? Let me just add those in. It wasn't too much either, it's only like six bucks. Thank you, self care. There's our reef point, a one reef point on our main cell. So we do just want the this one to have some tension. Just a little, just it's basically for when you drop your set. Just to hold it. This one to get in good shape. So right now, see if, if we pull this. Okay, so now look at your cell. So this thing. Now watch this. So this. We're setting our boom, even with this line here, trying to help maintain good mainsail shape. This line is for the reefing. Goes right up through there. Comes out the other side. This, down through this block. Pull yourself down all the way. And cleats off. This line, when you go to reef, go through here. And then when you reef down, this will pull down, right? And you'll be able to clean it up. I mean, you could just pull it through here too. You could just do a stopper knot here. That's just a reef line. When we go to our yeah. first reef point, we just cleat it. Here we have the Cunningham line going right through here. Yeah. Just cleat it up there. Hold a nice tension on the boom. Give the cell the shape we're looking for. After the Cunningham has been all tightened down and sheet cleated off, this line basically with the top of the boom, that's about where it's adjusted. So I've dry it, it's about to splash. Right, it's coming into the, the humber, into our dock. Woohoo, babes, way to be. I gotta catch her. Captain Jason, how Swipe was right it? right is back in the water at the <laughs> marina. Very excited to have her in the water. <laughs> and the motor's running, which is great. <laughs> you know, I've heard we had a really good mechanic working on that. <laughs> yeah, some really good looking guy. Sky, sky, sky. <laughs> and me, a little bit. I did like 10%. That's more of the film crew. So that's important. Very important.